नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वाइल डिस्कसिंग क्लच टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन दैट फोर्स इज रिक्वायर्ड टू डिसंगेज द क्लच टू एंगेज द क्लच वी हैव फोर्स एग्जर्टेड बाई स्प्रिंग द ड्राइवर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रेस द क्लच पैडल टू डिसंगेज द क्लच वेन क्लच पैडल इज रिलीज द क्लच इज एंगेज एंड द फोर्स एग्जर्टेड बाई स्प्रिंग कॉजेज द ट्रांसफर ऑफ मोशन to clutch shaft now we will be talking about centrifugal clutch in this type of clutch the force required to disengage or engage the clutch is centrifugal force as the speed of the engine shaft increases centrifugal force comes into existence with further increase in speed the centrifugal force also increases this causes the contact between flywheel pressure plate and clutch plate so the clutch is engaged and motion is transferred to clutch shaft when the speed of the engine shaft is reduced the centrifugal force is also reduced and the contact between the flywheel clutch plate and pressure plate is lost putting the clutch in disengaged position and no motion is transferred to the clutch shaft to understand how it happens let us have a look at the diagram of centrifugal clutch now in this diagram also you find that you have engine shaft and flywheel on left hand side the clutch shaft is on the right hand side we have clutch plate and pressure plate as shown in the diagram the flywheel has been modified and it accommodates spring e clutch plate and pressure plate have spring g in between them the weight which is on right hand side is pivoted as shown and it has got an operating lever on the other side the operating lever is in contact with the pressure plate there is a stop in the form of projection on right hand upper side now this is a section view so we find spring e and spring g the fact is that the number of springs may be 4 6 or 8 depending upon the size of clutch and they are placed uniformly over the disc when the speed of engine shaft increases the weight tend to move outwards this happens because of centrifugal force this causes the operative lever to push pressure plate towards left pressing the spring g when spring g is fully compressed it starts pushing clutch plate towards left and finally it comes in contact with the flywheel this happens against the force of spring e now the flywheel pressure plate and clutch plate are in contact with each other causing the transfer of motion to clutch shaft so this is the engaged position of the clutch when the speed of the engine shaft is low the centrifugal force is also reduced and weights tend to move inwards the operating lever stops pushing the pressure plate and contact is lost between flywheel pressure plate and clutch plate this means no motion is transferred to the clutch shaft now this is known as disengaged position in this case we find that the whole process of exerting force to disengage the clutch or to engage the clutch is done by centrifugal force stop prevents the excessive outward movement of ball in case the centrifugal force exceeds beyond limit so we find that in case of centrifugal clutch driver is not required to engage or disengage the clutch the engagement of clutch occurs when the speed of the engine increases because the increase in speed of engine shaft is gradual therefore there is a gradual contact 
between flywheel, clutch plate and pressure plate. This fulfills the requirement of gradual transfer of motion to clutch shaft. Similarly, the decrease in speed of engine shaft occurs gradually and therefore there is a gradual loss of contact between flywheel, clutch plate and pressure plate. This causes the gradual decrease in speed of the clutch shaft and finally clutch gets disengaged. At low speed, the force exerted by spring E keeps the clutch in disengaged position. Well, this was about centrifugal clutch. Thank you for watching this episode.